you kidding me, man? What the hell? Dude, you almost ran me up. Oh, my God, the McPoyle brothers. Hello, Charles. I'm a businessman. I do business. I've been doing business for 15, seven years. Now, here's the thing. What I do when I do business is business-like. I've worked for the Double Down Corporation, the Triple Fold Corporation, for the past seven to 12 years, separately. Charlie comes up with his idea for a character on his television show. It was the craziest idea I'd ever seen. I said, I like it, though, and I'll try it. I tried it. I liked it. I did it again. I did it two more times, then once more. And then I said, that's it for now. I did. I held a microphone for about five seconds. It was essential. I looked at Rob and I said, I'll hold that microphone. And then uh, about five seconds later, I put it down. And uh, I left to do some business. And the rest is history. It's nothing personal. It's no, just business. It's a business. It's a business. It's a business. It's it's it does it's not America. matter it's one it's bit because I'm not selling the bar anyway. Just take a look. What, what is that? That's the offer. When they were gonna cast me for this role, what they did was they took me down to the soft serve cheese shop and they dressed me up in little uh, paper lit uh, dresses and they said, walk around in a circle in front of these people over here. And then I did that and they said, now walk around in a circle in front of these people and squat down and see what happens to your thighs. I did that, I got the part. Good. How many, what is that a jar of? What is that a jar of, dude? What is that? How many can there possibly be? Oh, good to see her again. Good. She doesn't know what I'm saying, right? Okay. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, you're you're here in in the world. That's a, that's a sun. It's gonna hurt your eyes. Watch your mouth. You've got pink corners. Yeah. Okay. What is that? A fife? You brought your little flute. Is there more? Are there any more? Get them all out. Look. I tell you what. Leave me alone. Okay. My routine would be a cup of coffee, cigarette. And then, at that point, I'd take a pretty, pretty healthy dump. And then you're a McPoil, my friend. Uh, it's funny, mildly amusing. I'm reading the script and I start laughing. Everyone around me in my cubicles said, what, what the heck are you laughing at? I said, I'm laughing at this script that my friend just wrote and sold. And then I did some more business. Playing the McPoyles is, is fun. I mean, it's very just, um, very base, animalistic. Um, so you slide into the, the soiled undies and, um, you know, be a creep. I think you're bluffing. You think I'm bluffing? I think you're bluffing. Then bluff this. Ryan, stab somebody. <laughs> what have you done then? You can stab one of them. Oh, I gotta take care of this. I'm not going to tell you anything about that. I'll tell you a little something about milk and the McPoyles. They go together like hand and glove. And let me tell you why. I tried to come up with a couple reasons why, because uh, it wasn't written in the script, the actual reason for the lust for milk. What I did was this. I did some research on people who loved milk and where they come from. Most of them were from Iowa. Are you kidding me? Okay. Lukewarm, skin for the lady. Ever since I met Caitlin, I've always wanted to lick her right on the face. So when this episode came along and there was no face looking, I said, this is my opportunity. So what I said to Robert is I said, hey, can I go lick her on the face? He said, I think it would work for the story. Glenlop said, I agree. Charles did as well. And so that's what happened. I loved it. It was fun. And I've done it again off camera. Now, the best thing about wearing a bathrobe on the set of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is not only that I get to be mostly naked in front of about 50 other people, but actually there's the potential to be naked in front of 50 million people within about three months with only the thin strap of fabric separating me from them. If you know what I mean. Probably when I'm hanging off the roof. God! Ah! Ah! I love you! God, I love you! Because ah! it's, uh, I think there was no single moment that kind of encapsulated the bond between the McPoyles. What a delicious surprise. The hats off to the props, you know, for finding. Those were rubber, big rubber guns, um, and you don't, you don't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think it. <laughs> Working with Kevin from the Wonder Years was basically like going back to the Wonder Years and working with the lead actor, Kevin, from the Wonder Years. And I said, 
I remember your program. It was a rich yet comedic program. It had uh, highs and lows, peaks and valleys, whinnies and none. Talk to me about it. He asked me to step aside and leave him alone. I did. So there's a rumor that you'll be seeing more McPoyles. We'll see about that. Thank you.